On March 6th, the trial will begin in our case challenging Kansas's requirement that people who apply to register to vote show a document like a birth certificate or a passport in order to register. This is a law that has been championed by Kansas's Secretary of State, Chris Kobach, and it's been absolutely devastating for voter registration in the state. Kansas's law went into effect on January 1, 2013, and it immediately hampered voter registration in the state. About one in seven people who applied to register to vote saw their registration applications rejected. Some of them, including several of our clients, went to the polls on election day in 2014 thinking that they had registered to vote only to be told, sorry, you have not proven that you're a U.S. citizen. The main issue in this case is whether or not Kansas has a substantial problem of non-citizens registering to vote. We've looked at the evidence that Kansas's Secretary of State, Chris Kobach, has presented, and it's no more than a handful of people dating back over the last 20 years who have inadvertently, either by mistake or misunderstanding, uh, become registered to vote when they are not eligible. The problem is, is that most people don't walk around carrying documents like birth certificates or passports with them. And if they do, they're certainly not going to give them out to a stranger who's, say, conducting a voter registration drive on the street. One of the pernicious effects of this law is that it has made voter registration drives in the state of Kansas virtually impossible. This trial has national implications. Kansas's position in this case is that states can require any kinds of documents that they want from voter registration applicants. The whole reason why the federal government passed the National Voter Registration Act was to establish a certain amount of uniformity and simplicity in the voter registration process. If Kansas has its way, that uniform system of voter registration would be turned into a patchwork 